Hello, this is Nathan Smith. Here I am. I have logged into my Ag Email account and I want to show you uh, two ways that you can share a file. One is if you upload a file into your Google Drive and the other is if you create a file in Google Drive. And so here we go. So the first thing that you need to do when you're in your Ag Email account is come up to these little nine squares up here and click into your Google Drive. Here in Google Drive, uh, you can, you have unlimited space. You can click and add folders. You can upload files. You can upload folders if you're in Google Chrome. Uh, you can create Google Docs, Google Sheets, Google Slides. Docs are like Word documents. Sheets are like Excel. Uh, slides are like PowerPoint. And if you click on more, you can do forms, you can do drawings, maps, you can create your own websites, and you even have access to some third party things like Lucid Chart and perhaps even Lucid Press if you've got an account there. So the first thing that I would suggest that you do is that you create a folder where you can keep stuff from this course. And you might want to name it uh, 5500 materials or something along that line. Go ahead and create yourself a folder. There's my folder right there. I can double click on it and upload it. And to add a file to a folder, it's just drag and drop easy. Uh, you can uh, come over here onto your desktop and just drag and it you'll notice down here at the bottom it says drop files instantly to upload the item to. So if I drop it you'll see it come into play there and there is my file and you can upload any kind of a file that you want. Um, if you're creating something like a, a Word document or something like that you can give it a name up here. This is my 5500 document and just like in Microsoft Word you can start typing um, uh, and do your assignment right here okay and that opens up in a new tab I'll close that tab and you'll see that there's my 5500 document right there to share a file it's uh, very simple to do you just right mouse button click and click on share. Now uh, you can share it with specific email addresses and they can either edit or comment or just view only. Uh, that's a good way to collaborate with others. In our course we'll be sharing things with the world and so what you need to do is click on get a shareable link and then you have to look carefully here. Right now it says anyone at Ag Email with a link can view. So that means that only people with Ag Email accounts can see it. Um, we want better than that. We want the, anybody with a link to be able to see it. So what you do is you click on this down triangle right here and then notice the other options. They're all Ag Email. So I'm going to click on more and right here I can either choose public anyone on the internet can find and access it no sign in required or if I want to be a little more restrictive I can click on anyone with a link can access it no sign in required and that's the one that I use most of the time down here you want to make sure that the access is that anyone can view it you can change that that anyone can edit it but I don't see why anybody would ever want to do that uh, publicly with the world um, but anyway anyone with a link can do it and so I click OK and I get this huge long link here I'll copy the link but when I share it with other people uh, for example in our in our discussions I want to shorten it and uh, we used to be using Google, uh, goo.gl, but that went away uh, in spring semester of 2018. But there are tons of other URL shorteners uh, if you just Google that. 
bit.ly is one. And so I can paste that big long link into bit.ly.com and it will shorten it. And so I just hit copy and then that would be the link that I would paste into it. Also, if, uh, if you are in your, in your documents, let me click done here. So for example, here I am in my document. You can actually share it from right here as well by going up to the right corner by where you've logged in and just click on share and get a shareable link. And then you have that same dialog box. Hope this helps.